YouTube, what it do, baby? We're gonna be jumping through these settings here in Warzone. I'm gonna make a video on my best settings that I can give you guys for Season Three Warzone, and I'm also gonna going to be doing one for Cold War. I know a lot of you just play Warzone, and I know a lot of you just play Cold War, so you probably won't be seeing the other video. So. Um, I'm going to be going through obviously on Warzone right now. Um, I can't wait to jump into this new season. I haven't played it at all since the update. I was at work when it happened. So anyway, anyway, man, let's jump into these settings. Let's see what it's all about, man. So I'm going to start from the top here. I don't know why it put me at the bottom, but, uh, I'm going to go with my button layout, which is stick and move guys. I use the, uh, the right stick to jump, but I do have a scuff as you guys can see. Um, these help obviously in control freaks for the aim, uh, code road, by the way, control freak 10% off. I'm just kidding. You guys don't have to do that. Uh, but they do help. It's just something like when you go to a scuff, you're usually not going to go back from it. It's kind of like the control freak analog stick. So, um, that's just preference based and a lot of people don't need them. You don't need them, but they, I think they do help. So anyway, man, we have stick and move for the button layout. We have the default for the stick uh, layout and the, uh, disabled for the invert look. I don't know want to do that. 0.05 for the dead zone, 11 horizontal and 11 vertical sensitivity. Um, I, I did bump this up. I used to be on a nine. I slowly worked my way up to 11 and I I'm loving this. And I honestly might bump it up to 12. Um, what I do with this though, to counter it, I love being able to turn side to side very, very quick. I know a lot of people say it's bad for your accuracy and blah, blah, blah. I just think the more reps you get with it, the better. Obviously, this repetition, right, makes perfect. So practice makes perfect. And, and then for the low zoom, I have 0.85. So when I do ADS, it's slower side to side, but I'm able to snap on people quicker because I have a higher sensitivity. So that's why I run this. And I'm, I Black Ops 4, I remember I started doing this, on, um, or even on Modern Warfare, I started bumping my sensitivity up and literally would change the ads to very low uh, so as soon as i aim in i can snap on them it's right there and it doesn't have much movement when you ads so i love this um for the high zoom i have a one for the sniper rifle so i could honestly bump this up because when you're sniping the scope is super slow side to side but i think you could bump that up um so i may play with that uh standard i didn't change any of the re aim response curve type controller vibration disabled guys disable this now if you haven't it when you have vibration on your controller, that does mess up your accuracy. You're literally your controller sh uh, shaking while you're playing. Okay, like that messes it up. None of the pros use it. Nobody uses it that I know of that plays. Everybody has it disabled because it actually does mess up your accuracy. Okay, it's like literally imagine something shaking in your hands while you're trying to shoot. I know it doesn't seem like much, but uh, it does matter. Um, controller vibration, like I said, disabled. Aim assist standard. AD ADS to melee. It's a mount. I don't really mount much unless I'm trying to shoot somebody from a thousand meters. Um, weapon mount movement. I don't really need to worry about that too much. Uh, hold for ADS. Equipment be uh, behavior is hold. Use and reload behaviors. Contextual tap. So I just tap square to do this. So basically to pick up things, I just tap square. Tap square. I don't hold it. I tap it. Okay. I think that's Excuse me, I think that's very important for Warzone because you're trying to gather loot and you're trying to do everything uh, very quick, okay? Um, ammo switch, so armor plate is apply one right here. Uh, I've never had, I've never tried to apply all. I have not tried that. For slide behavior, tap, okay? You just tap B. So when you're running, or tap circle, sorry for my scuff at circle. I don't know why I said B. Um, so when I'm running, it just taps uh, circle, it slides. Okay, I don't have to hold it, just tap it. Um, I do like that a lot. I think it's easier to slide cancel with that. So... Uh, try that out for sure auto move sprint i don't have that that wouldn't be bad a lot of people said it's good once you get used to it but i have not ever uh tried it obviously um so that is up to you and everything else pretty much the same i haven't changed anything for that we'll go to general real quick i have a 47 brightness okay a lot of you are like how's your color look so good uh, i have a controller obviously a scuff um safe area don't worry about it film grain i have a zero i don't want any film grain on mine um then i have obviously colorblind it's the one with a d i don't even want to try to pronounce it um, and then for the colorblind target, I have both and then disabled motion blur, disabled weapon blur. And I have my saturation bumped up on my, um, on my monitor. So it makes my computer and my Elgato settings are changed. So it makes the gameplay look really clean. Okay. Um, mini map is a square. You can see 10 times as much as a circle. That is very crucial. I recommend you all do that. Uh, mini map rotation is enabled just like normal. Um, none of that really matters. Uh, that's just the effects and profanity and stuff. Audio, I have music all the way down. I don't like hearing that, especially when I'm in a lobby talking with my uh, friends and stuff like that. So I have all that turned down, everything else at 100. And uh, my audio mix, it mix is a boost high. And uh, then for the account, nothing crazy right here, guys. I have, now this has nothing to do with anything. So 
Um, yeah, man, this is my settings for Warzone. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Try it out. Let me know if it even works for you. And if you only like a couple of them, maybe take a couple of them, implement it into your settings and see if it does help. I really recommend the ADS multiplier. That is one thing I do recommend a lot would be the ADS multiplier. So hopefully you guys enjoy, man. Smash that like, hit the subscribe button down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.